Hi, I'm Dave, RDH Building Engineering. Today I'm answering the question, what are the different systems in our building? And this is actually a very important question because it helps us understand what is going on, what are the behavior characteristics of our roofs, our boilers, our hallway carpets, how long do things last, and how do things interact with each other. Now on the whiteboard behind me, I have put together a, a summary conceptual illustration using, if you will, mechanical cogs to indicate the eight primary physical systems of every building. And very briefly, the first system we'll talk about is the structure. Then we'll talk about the enclosure, mechanical, electrical, fire safety, finishes, and site work. And I'm going to use, again, the human body, human body as an analogy. The structure is like the skeleton of my body. It, in terms of buildings, it includes foundations and beams and columns, etc. The building enclosure system is like the skin of my body. It separates the outside from the inside. It separates its environmental separation system and includes the windows, doors, roofs, balconies, decks, canopies, etc. The, the electrical system and the mechanical system work closely together. Electrical system, if you will, is like the, um, the neurological system in my, in my body, sending messages from my brain down to my fingertips and my toes. Mechanical system is analogous to the vital organs of my body, the, the heart and the lungs and the kidneys, the things that pump and move fluids through my body in buildings, pumps, fans, motors, valves, actuators, turning on and off and changing pressures, moving air and gas and water uh, and, and other types of, of, of fluids through the building. The fire safety system is analogous to the autoimmune system in my body that detects and fights infections if I am infected through viruses or, or, or bacteria and otherwise. And in, in, the, in, the, in the case of buildings with a fire alarm system, uh, smoke and heat and other, other uh, life safety events. Now, let's look a little bit at the relationships between these systems. The structure and the building enclosure firstly have a very, very important relationship with one another. The building enclosure is protecting the structure. In many buildings, the, building the structure rather, is not visible to the human eye. It is hidden by the exterior cladding and roofs and, and waterproofing membranes. In some cases, elements of the structure are exposed and they will require um, uh, additional care and attention over the life of the building. There's another very important relationship going on between the mechanical system and the building enclosure. Depending on the air tightness and the, um, the thermal performance and characteristics of our building enclosure, the, the requirements will vary in terms of how much ventilation, movement of air inside the building. Space heating and space cooling is dependent tremendously on how well the building enclosure system is performing in terms of keeping heat in, keeping, uh, keeping uh, heat out, whatever the, whatever the situation is during the different seasons of the year. Now, the fire safety system has a relationship with both the mechanical and the electrical systems. In fact, anything that has to do with fire detection and fire alarm is really part of the electrical discipline. Anything that has to do with fire suppression through water or gas or other means is really covered under the mechanical discipline. So, in brief then, we have in the enclosure system, we've got our doors, our windows, our walls, and other elements. Site work is anything around the perimeter of the property, typically at grade landscaping, hard and soft landscaping, paving surfaces, fencing, and other components. Now, it's a beautiful integrated uh, network diagram, just helping us understand that, you know, there are upstream and downstream relationships between the different assets in our building. Thank you.